Fish on. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Oh, fish on. In the net you go. Let's go! Fish on. Fill on, please say it's fill on. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This might be the biggest wall I've ever caught in my entire life. Get in there. Get in the net. Yes! Let's go, baby! My buddy Alan and I have been fishing the Long Point watershed our entire lives. Alan is the son of professional fishing guide Jimmy Carroll and has been his dad's first mate since he was a toddler. I've helped my dad produce content for various companies within the fishing industry since I could hold a rod in my hand. And now I produce my very own content hoping to inspire the next generation. Yes. Oh my goodness! For the past 15 years, we've been engaged in a friendly competition to prove who is the best angler. Oh. And with this series, we finally have a chance to put our skills to the test. Filmed over the span of two days, spread between open water and ice fishing, we will be attempting to catch as many species as possible. One point will be awarded for each species caught with a bonus point going to the angler who catches the largest fish of each. The winner will be awarded $1,000 to donate to a charity of their choice, courtesy of Yamaha Motor Canada. Welcome to Avery vs. Allen, the Battle of Long Point. Okay, all of a sudden, I kind of turned this and then I don't know what's up with it because I thought the dipsy had popped. Currently trying to control the boat, reel this in, change the GoPro battery, and uh, change bait as well. So I don't know if the dipsy didn't pop or if there's a fish on this. I got fish. Fish on. Might need the net for this one. It might be a smallmouth. Yes, and that's exactly what it is. Yes, smallie on that big one, but I am going to him because I need him. Oh, wow, that was a great net job. First smallmouth on the X zone drop shot. There it goes. Just like a little, like three quarters of a pound. 13 and three quarters. Smallmouth, back in the water. There could be a fish on it. I haven't really like felt a head shake or anything, but I don't know. Well, I see the dipsy has not popped yet. Okay, I think I'm gonna change this spoon to something else. I think I might change it to a crank and then put a spoon on the lead core. Depth is currently 50 feet. We will go deeper as we drive more. Okay, I loosened the dipsy a bit. Now it should be Easier to pop. Oh, I just got a bite. Come on, eat it. I felt like a rock bass. I could use a bigger one. Come on, one more fish, one more fish. I think that's all we're gonna get off the spooey. So we're gonna go try to find the next one down the row. There's kind of a row of them. So we're gonna go try to find the next one down the row and pull off a couple more fish. The one was a gas marker out there. Now we're in the channel. It's called the North Channel. So there's like channels marking in between the sandbar. And I find any kind of structure really catches fish, so we're just gonna go drop on each one of these and just troll in between them. There's a fish. This is a good fish. This is a good fish. Come on, sheephead. I think it might be a big smolly. Which I am not complaining about right now. Get that in that way. And it's gone. That sucks. It's a good fish. My net should have been ready. That is my mate. Bad. Come on. Where's his girlfriend at? Oh, there's a fish right under us. Last cast on this one. Ugh. On to the next one. 
So I've only put in like a few hours into trolling. Alan's a troller, I'm not a troller. He's probably gonna stay out here longer now that he is out here, uh, but I'm going back to uh, my favorite kind of fishing, dragging or just catching species that don't require trolling. So it is almost four o'clock and I have so far got four species, uh, walleye, gar, uh, largemouth bass, and pike. Uh, but I wanna go catch at least two more species. So we are going to head to a sheephead and smallmouth bass spot that I have. But before we do that, there is a thing that I marked and I think it might be a shipwreck and there were fish loaded on it. I've got leeches, I've got a panfish rod, so I'm gonna see if I can find out what those fish are and uh, see if maybe there are a few new cool species that I can catch off of that shipwreck. So, let's get our rods in and then go to the shipwreck. Oh, got a bite. Bite again, bite again, bite again. It felt like a rock bass, I want a rock bass, or a perch. It was like a dip, dip. Yeah, we'll just leave that one alone. I don't think he'll bite. On to the next one, right? Number four. For live bait today, I'm using leeches. Usually I use worms for live bait, but I find that worms tend to come up. We got a pack of two dozen from Collins Marina, and now I gotta put one on my little BMC panfish shake. Who doesn't like leeches? Nobody, so somebody better eat this leech. Cause I wanna know what this school of fish is. I wonder if Avery went to the lighthouse. I believe if she went out there, I wouldn't get too many texts. I think I got him, oh no. This is not big. He might be a perch though, and we need a perch, so. I've been playing with him. Got him, oh, nope. That, he actually didn't feel too bad. I just said the hook into him. Ham for a second. Come on, come back, come back. Got, oh, I lost him. So that was a waste of time. There's no fish there. And uh, yeah, now we have to go to our sheephead and smallmouth spot. I'm exhausted. 15 hours is a lot for me. I might fall asleep before then. Large mouth, large mouth. I think it might help. Oh, he's a long and skinny guy. Get off the hook, that'd be great. I'd call that 12. 12 inch large row. From the back of the line. Tex Avery 12 inch largemouth. Unfortunately, I killed my electric motor batteries trolling. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to go through my waypoints without using my electric motor or with using my electric motor, but very minimal times. What I think I'm gonna do is put it on a really low setting, because if it's on a really low setting, then it should be fine. And I think I'm gonna just stroll along my waypoints, press the north button, and uh, yeah, that's all I got. Going back to the top of the drift, can drive the big motor because the electric motor is pretty much dead. And I'm just gonna use the wind to drift. Here, pushy, pushy. That's a fish. No, are you joking? Come back to it, come back. Got him. <laughs> there was a fish nibbling on it and I knew it was a fish because I could just see it. Oh, oh, it's a small mouth, it's a small mouth. Oh my gosh, it just launched out of the water. Just launched out of the water. I for sure thought it was a sheep head because it was just like nibble, 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 but Obviously not. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. I got a double header on right now. Okay, 
putting this in my legs. And I'm gonna reel this fish in. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this fish is pulling line. Oh my goodness. Oh no, oh no, this is going slack line. I gotta keep them tight. This is going slack line too. I need to get this fish in first. Oh my gosh, it's right there. It's right there. Let's put this in the rod holder. Grab the net. Pull this guy in. <laughs> Bring him in. Oh gosh. Now grab this rod. Oh, I, he's still on, he's still on. Okay. We got fish number two. One on the drop shot. As I was fighting that fish, we got one on the bucktail. I gotta get him out of the net. I'm so happy. Two species, both species I was looking for here. Oh, my arms are killing me from the leg core. And we got him! We have landed both fish in a short matter of time. We have got two species a smallmouth on the drop shot and a sheephead on the VMC bucktail. And this guy is a pretty decent sized one at that. <laughs> Man, was that crazy. Two fish at once. My heart is beating and I'm woken up from that little tiredness that I was in. Fish number two in this spot. Let's measure him and then measure the bass. Woo, 22 and a half inches. Beautiful Lake Erie sheephead. An awesome fight, literally held the rod between my legs. Now, let's get this guy back. Oh, it smells in here and something puked up a perch. Don't know if it was the walleye or the bass, but we know that there are one of the two eating perch. First smallie of the day. Let's see what he is. Pinch his tail. 18 and a quarter. Awesome Lake Erie smallmouth. Okay, 22 and a half a sheep. And 18 and a quarter smallie. Right now we're gonna try to put a light cord line. It's a little bit different than a dipsy diver. Try to entice a bite here. Just lost another one. Hit. And by the time I got the rod, the rod holders, he was gone. I haven't fished on this side for like three weeks. It's just pretty rough. <sighs> Let's go to the other side. So right now we're just switching spots. We're going around the point. That's where I have been fishing. It was a little too rough when we first got out here, but it calmed down a little bit. So we're going to try to go around, try to find some better fish. I'm shocked. I've had a good day. This is a good day for me. The fish gods just seem to be on my side. Fish on. I originally thought it was a snag, and then I was like, oh wait, it's moving. <laughs> It must be a fish. Woo, this thing is moving like a sheephead, but it's got head shakes like a bass. Sheephead. Oh my gosh. Get it. it barely fits in my net. That's wonderful. Okay, there we go. We might have an upgrade here, guys. Sheephead number two, once again, on the bucktail. These things love this jig, man. Oh, it's heavy. Look at the size of this fish. Oh my goodness. Sheephead number two is a tanker. He is a long fish. We need to get a measurement on him. 26 and a quarter. 26 and a quarter. We have got about a four inch upgrade on this massive Lake Erie sheephead. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade.
Man. Just got to the new spot. Hooked up right now on the first fish. Where's my net? Oh yeah, he's there. He hit high, and he came back for it. That's why I lost him. I think it's gonna be a sheephead. Try not to mess up our cheater. Let's reel past it. There he is. Making a half inch sheephead. There we go. That just got bit. There's a fish on this. I think it might even be a smallmouth. Shaking its head real, real hard, which is a typical smallmouth behavior. Oh, it's a big smallmouth. Let's keep him down, down, down. Putting my net in an easy to access area. I don't know if this one's an upgrade, but it's nice to catch a smallmouth bass because I love smallmouth bass, favorite species. And the net you get. There we go! Smallmouth, number two. I can't tell if he's an upgrade, but you know what? We're gonna measure just in case. Another awesome smallmouth. I seriously thought he was a sheephead at first because he did not jump. Like I said earlier, these smallmouth, for some reason, think they're sheephead. And he was barely hooked. The hook just came out. Okay. 18 inches, I'm pretty sure the last one was 18 and a quarter. So this guy is not an upgrade, but you know what? Still pretty awesome. I think it's time to go for a new species. See how Alan does tonight with trolling out there? If he caught like a coho, oh, maybe that's him. Hello? Stop. Yeah, how are you doing? Fine, why? Because I just want to know. Don't want to ask those questions, Avery. No, I I need to know though. Like, how are you? How are you doing? I'm only fishing for small fish, fish. Okay, I see. What small fish did you catch? A sheephead. A sheephead? Yeah, just a little one. Just a little one? Okay. It was like a, I think 19 inches. 19 inches? Okay. Don't mess with me if you want to go see catch the most 12 inch smallmouth. I'm just killing that. <laughs> 12 inch smallmouth? I can't get over the 13 mark. <laughs> I can't get over it. You're on your next spot? Okay, I'm going anyways. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna bypass the island, go fish the North Shore, and then at the end of the day, there's a creek mouth where I can catch rock bass, bluegill, pumpkin seed. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's get my chatterbait rod out. So that's probably what I'm just gonna be using all along here. Ah! I don't know if I'll be able to fight a fish if I actually hook into it. It's been about 13 hours. I'm dying. <laughs> Should have put sunscreen on, but I was fishing. And when I fish, all I do is fish. There's some more men. All the sunfish here. All the sunfish are here. Drop it right down to the bottom. Perch. We have not caught a perch yet. He is very small. Six and a quarter. Looking for double the size, 12 and a half. That's a big sunfish. And the little one ate it. We need bigger. And our bait's gone. Okay, if there are a lot of people in here, then I probably won't fish in here. And I'll just go to the other part of Old Cut, like the channels. If there aren't, then I'll fish here. Probably catch a couple, one bluegill, one pumpkin seed I'm hoping, and then uh, peace out. Okay, we just showed up to our large rust spot. Hopefully we can get a largey, bigger than that little guy that we have now.
Where did all the large move to? Got one. Fish on. Might just be a touch bigger. And he is going to be bigger, I believe. 12 and a quarter. Yep, 12 and a quarter. Okay, so I think that's a quarter inch upgrade if I'm correct. He hit that as soon as it hit the water. This one looks like he's alive-ish. I'm just gonna drift with this little DMC jig and a leech, little leech. Oh, I just got bit. Oh, I took my leech. Darn fish, taking my leech. All righty. Got him, <laughs> let's go. No, he gave off. I hope my leech is still on. No! Fish on. Don't know how big it is. Or oh, it might just be like an inch bigger than my last one. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be bigger than my last one. It's not bad, man. Okay, it's definitely gonna be a new biggest largemouth. The largey. I'm on the board. 16 and 15 and three quarters. There's a pike, there's a pike. Eat it, eat it. I think he's gone. We wanted to end up with a bigger one than that anyways, so. See, like we're gonna need a bigger one than that. I need to get a big one. Come here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Ah, oh, I missed him. And he took my leech. Oh, fish on. Oh, oh no, darn it. All righty, let's put a new leech on. Got him. <laughs> no, I got weeds. I thought I had the fish on, but he took my, oh, I still got my leech, woot woot. Thought I lost my leech. Ah, oh. oh, I took my leech again. I can't with these fish. Look at it, it's suctioning to my hand. Get off my hand, get off. There we go. Okie dokie, this is my last leech. It is almost time to head in. Oh, that was a really good hit. Why did I not hook him? Okay, so I'm exhausted and sore and tired. Exhausted and tired would mean the exact same thing. Yeah, so that's how tired I am right now. And uh, I think I had a pretty good day. I'm pretty excited that I caught my biggest ever walleye and that I caught the gar, because it definitely helped me. But I think it's time for me to get some sleep. So it's time to head in. Let's get going. I just lost a leech in my shirt. That's disgusting. Avery's out here turning this thing into a full-blown competition. I might have to take the sled. Oh God, that scared me. <laughs> oh, just great. Tell me if I'm gonna run into someone, go left or right. Got him. Oh, it's a good fish, it's a good fish, it's a good fish, it's a good fish. Don't lose it, 